Delta Hotel, runway 01. Head to land, wind 030 degrees at top. Go on, head to land, India Delta Hotel. And we're in Namibia. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Namibia. Namibia. We crossed the border today. Today is the big day. Uppington Airport is uh, one of the longest runways in the world. They've actually got two runways there, and we want them to put us on a really, really long, five kilometer long runway. 5,000 meters. I don't even know what that is in feet, but 15,000 feet or something. Crazy thing is, we're flying a bush plane that can land in about 80 meters. So yeah, we'll actually land on it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that the Uppington runway was like the reserve runway for the space shuttle back in the day, but it seems like it was primarily built for 747. It was built for 747s back in the day when it was uh, too hot, so they would actually take off out of Joburg pretty light with no fuel, yeah. fly to Uppington, completely fill up there, and then go to Europe in a 747. Oh wow. Because it was so hot on the dense, the altitude was so high, they needed a really long runway. <laughs> I mean, how long do you think the 747 is rolled for? Maybe half, maybe, probably more. More than like three quarters of the runway. Sheesh. Can you imagine the, the takeoff speed? Oh my grief. I think must have like lumbered the right, like, you know, like wallowed off the runway. But I mean, once they get up to speed, everything's good. Uppington, India Delta Hotel is left base, runway 01, number 2. India Delta Hotel, copy it, for final approach, runway 01, number 2. Final approach, next India Delta Hotel. India Delta Hotel, runway 01, clear to land, wind 030 degrees at top. Clear to land, India Delta Hotel. India Delta Hotel, runway 8 left, Bravo 1 for the apron, contact apron 122, decimal 65, cheers. F Bravo 1 for the apron, 12265, thanks so much for your help, India Delta Hotel. Brown, good morning, India Delta Hotel. Uh, sufficient speed. Wind in apron. Faster hit. India yeah, Delta Hotel, we just waited Bravo 1 for the apron, uh, international please, and we do require fuel. Copy this, sir, we will arrange your answers. Please follow the mask line. We'll follow the marshal and the adult hotel. So we have arrived in Uppington. We're about to get some fuel. Very, very cool little landing here. We didn't get to land on the long runway, but uh, yeah, it's nonetheless, really cool. Slick and professional. There's the boneyard. I guess we won't be able yeah. to see. And uh, now we're going to clear customs. I need to get all my documents out, our general declaration, and all this type of stuff. The JJ. And then we'll be on our way to Namibia. Bit of a headwind today. Um, so it's going to be a slow flight. Hopefully we do make it there. We've got about 200 miles to our next stop. So I'm sure we will make it. But yeah, I've got the high vis vest on and time to walk into the office and uh, get everything sorted so we can cross the border to Namibia. India X-ray information with India Chiller Hotel, runway 01 intersection, Bravo, you clear takeoff, uh, left turn out, not above 4,000 feet, report 8 miles outbound, traffic, uh, India Charlie Papa, departure at Chokli, runway 01, routing, same destination. Delta Hotel FM, runway 01, clear takeoff, wind 030 degrees at 15 knots. Coming clear takeoff 01, India Delta Hotel. India Delta Hotel, runway 01, clear takeoff, wind 030 And here we go. I see the line on my ether, so let's zoom in and more. We're almost there. And we are. Well, here we go. Oh, 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 here's the fence, I think. Yeah, here we go. Where's the fence? Just down there. I can see a little spot. line. Yeah. And we're in Namibia. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Namibia. I thought I was going to. 
get this feeling of thrill and excitement. There was a little bit of excitement. Yeah, there. I mean, it's but I feel, I don't know, I feel taller. A little no. bit. I feel a little bit taller. I feel skinnier. The air feels definitely a lot cleaner now, this side of uh, the, the tiny thing. But yeah, we are officially in Namibia. Yeah, legally as well. Legally as well, had a passport stamp. This is it. This is now the actual official beginning of, of uh, the trip. Our Namibia but, trip. Yeah. We've got 11 days in this country. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be 11 great days that we won't forget. Oh, yeah. For as long as we live. So welcome to Namibia. Well, the bomb trees are bending here, so we'll have to hold on to the plane. I'm seeing uh, 30 knots on the nose, runway 36. That's my stall speed, man. Oh, that wind is howling. Nicely done. That was quite challenging, that one. Uh, in the taxi, I'm trying uh, 30 knots on the nose, just be careful, it's very gusty as well. Yeah, that was a no, nice one. 65 on approach and 35 ground, not, uh, ground speed. It is howling down there. We have just landed at a howly, very howly, Ketmanswerp, but we're on the ground, so. And we're about to go and clear customs. I need to get fuel. I see there is fuel available. That's yeah, dude. How was the landing? Little Thomas spicy. absolutely greased it. Oh, no, nice. I think you did it very well. I think you did very, very well. I'm glad I also have feeling back in my bum. So I think it's a good trip so far, having having bum feeling back. Oh, and that's a good time to go and stretch the legs, maybe go to the bathroom, do a couple and of uh, do a couple of squats, push-ups, and then uh, head on to Mariental. Which is another hour and a half. <laughs> Deeper into Namibia. Yeah! About to leave Gietman's whip. The wind is dying down. It's quarter past three. No, what's the time? Three. It is three o'clock. Two fifty-nine. Two fifty-nine. Sorry, and it should be an hour and a half you know flight. It's three. Hour and forty minutes that's flight. Three it's three o'clock now. Hour and forty minutes flight. So that's quarter to five. We'll get there. Hopefully, we'll get a lift from the airfield uh, to the lodge. And then we relax. I don't know. Have you got anything else to say? Yeah, I think we've learnt about each other here out in the, the windy city that is Ketman's Hoop, or Windy Town rather. Um, yeah, we're in Namibia, this is our first stop, and it's definitely taught us a great deal of patience and understanding of the weather. So looking forward to leaving now and perhaps even having a beer later on in the day. It is now 3.01. See you in the air. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> X-rays, X-rays, lining up 01, Britain, in Yeah, we're rolling. Yeah, so we are going to go and see a collapsed volcano. Apparently, it was formed. Uh -huh, it's, it's the tectonic plates moving away from each other. So you get like these peaks on either side, and then as it pulls away, it's like the lava. I feel like I should have done more research, but yeah. But you know what? We're gonna guess what happens. We think it is a giant earth pimple that exploded many thousands of years ago, and is uh, you know horrifically scarred because. Back then, the Earth did not have access to Reactutan. But it's going to be great because we're going to be able to get to the crater and then follow the Fish River all the way up to Marion Pole, which Ooh. is great. It's going to be delightful. Jeez, this is uh, nothing like I've ever seen before. Oh man, this is so cool. Dude, you don't see this every day. You really don't. And it's the most like, odd thing as well. 
Dude, there was once lava flowing out of here. That's mad. Like you can't even fathom that. And look how black the rock is on the side of the mountain there. That's just like all volcanic rock. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That was mind blowing. Oh, that's the first landmark of Namibia. Yeah. Tick. On to the next one. We have made it to Marienthal. We were very quickly whisked away from the airfield, which is great. Had people help us pack up bags and all that sort of stuff. But we have arrived at the hotel. Aeroplanes have been tied down at the airfield, which is like two, three kilometers from here. And it's time to relax. We are here just for the night. And then tomorrow we are off to Eibenstein or Vintuk. And yeah. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Time to relax, put the cameras down, chill out, go have some dinner, maybe get a early night's rest. Nope.